Hey guys, this is Ian and welcome to today's video in which I'm going to be trying something that I've never done before and I've always kind of wanted to but just sort of never have, I don't know why. You've probably seen on the internet and around the place these drawings that when you look at from a particular angle or with a particular device then they become kind of three-dimensional. They're called anamorphic art and it's something that I've always wanted to give a go. So today I'm going to be attempting it for the first time ever. Now, the sensible thing to do would be to try drawing a sphere or a cube or something relatively simple first, but I think you guys know me well enough by now to know that I never, never make things easy on myself. And so today, I'm going to be trying to do an anamorphic drawing of this. This is a little Egyptian bust that I've got. I've got a few Egyptian bust things like this. I really like them. There's a lot of things going on with this. There's lots of different details and textures and shapes and things. It's kind of a complex thing to be tackling for my first ever attempt at this. So I'm not expecting the final result to come out looking exactly like this guy, but it's gonna hopefully be a decent representation of it. The one thing that I know I'm going to struggle with a lot is colour matching to this. I, I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to succeed there at all, so straight off the bat I'm going to say I'm not even going to try. I'm going to colour this as close as I can, but I'm probably going to shine it up, make it a little bit more kind of metallic and coppery. But that being said, let's give this a go. Let's jump straight into it and see how well I get on. When I started this challenge, I was expecting it to be complicated, but I had no idea about how complicated it was going to be, and I, I don't mean that it was complicated in the fact that there were lots of details and I was trying to get the expressions right or any of that kind of thing. More, it was a complete disconnect for all of my senses. It was like trying to learn how to draw all over again. Nothing was where I was expecting it to be. Just to try and explain that to you a bit better, the footage that you're seeing is straight on from the camera's point of view. I was sat to one side, so I'm drawing the actual image on its side to me which means the statue, I'm looking at a completely different angle of the statue to what I'm drawing. Not only that, but what I'm drawing is in no way representative of the actual statue itself, and the screen that is displaying the image that I am attempting to draw was back over my right hand shoulder, so I was having to look around over my shoulder to the right and get my pencil to draw and follow the lines on the screen rather than the line that I could see on the page and nothing to do with the object that I could see in front of me. It was like a, a visual artistic tongue twister. Like I was getting a very similar sensation to, you know, when you do the, the rubbing your stomach and patting your head thing and try and reverse it and all those kinds of uh, physical tongue twisters that you get. It was very similar sensation to that. Nothing, when I moved my arm, it wasn't moving in the direction I was expecting it to on the page and it wasn't moving in the direction I was expecting it to on the screen. Really weird sensation and the fact that I managed to get anything out at the end which re looks even remotely like the object I was attempting to draw is nothing short of a miracle to be perfectly honest. But I did manage to muddle through, I started by focusing on the larger shapes of the object and slowly but surely filling in the details as best as I could with just a mechanical pencil and then moved on to the colours. As I said at the beginning of the video I was well aware that I was never going to be able to colour match this thing and I didn't really want to, it was a very dull, very dark object and trying to colour match it exactly, the uh, the final result would have also been quite dull and dark so I wanted to brighten up and give it a bit more of a shine. So I used my Copic markers and 
as best I could, I followed the lighting patterns and things that I was seeing from the actual object in front of me, but trying to warm everything up and make it feel much more shiny and polished, like it was a bit closer to being new. And I'm really happy with the final result. Unfortunately, the camera I was using to record didn't actually capture everything. It kept cutting out and it doesn't actually beep or click or anything to let me know that it stopped recording. So there are small sections of the video which are, are not there unfortunately, but I hope you enjoy the results nonetheless. It's really interesting holding up the statue to the image that I drew, how much the perspective has warped it and changed it. It's The image I drew is so much larger than the statue itself. I was expecting them to be different, but not quite the extent that they are, and I'll show you that at the end of the video, quite how different the two things ended up looking. But as I say, I'm really happy with the result, and it's definitely something that I'm going to give a go again sometime in the future. Do you know what? I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that that came out. It's a lot better than I thought it would be. Um, you can see if I hold it up sort of flat on, you can see it's not exactly the most uh, extreme angle in the world. And possibly if I tilt it a bit, then you can see it. It was probably about that kind of angle to the camera, I guess. But, you know, it's not bad. And you can see kind of how it's shifted. And especially if I hold it up against the actual statue, you can see how much the perspective has warped its features and sizes. The head on my one is a lot taller than it is on here, but when you hold it at the right angle, it goes to the right, goes to the right size. I may well revisit this one day and do another something, maybe another Egyptian something, maybe something more complicated, I don't know. If you guys have ever given this kind of drawing style a go, please be sure to like tweet me a picture, show, show it to me over on Twitter or something. So I can have a look. I would be really intrigued to see what kind of things that you guys have done with it. And if not, then definitely give it a go. It's a bit of a workout for your brain, but the results are definitely worth the mind melting that you'll experience whilst trying to make it happen. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want notifications in the future of when I put videos out, all that good stuff. And as always guys, take care. And I'll see you next time.